Stampin' Storage presents Crafted Spaces. In this exclusive video series, we will take you inside beautiful studios from across the United States. First, you'll get expert advice for improving your craft area and designing your own dream studio. Later in the series, we'll take you on guided tours of the rooms we visited that were definitely crafted spaces. Have your hobbies been different in the past? Could they change again in the future? How will your craft studio adjust to support you in your new interests? What does the future hold for your craft room? Spending a little time thinking about this now could save you a lot of regret later. So when you're planning a space, we've talked a little bit about knowing what you want the space to do. And a lot of that is knowing what you want the space to do today. But one of the other things you want to consider, especially if you're going to go to the expense of a full custom build, is thinking about what you're going to want the space to do in the future. And in that regard, you want to build in certainly things that fit for today, but also flexibility for the future. Again, thinking for the future because something like this is a major expense and you do not want to find out in five years as you change your craft or as you know whatever the crafting tools are change you do not want to have to tear something out and redo it you want to be able to use the stuff that you bought the things that you planned and worked so hard for for a long time some of the things that you should consider is how do you see yourself in the next 10 to 5 years within this space uh, should we design for expansion? Um, how often do you buy your crafting products? You know, that's important so that we have adequate space for you to expand your crafts. Ensure that you're having, a, that you have a grasp on everything that you have and not all, not just on the things that you have now, but on the things that you think you may need in the future so that you can um, share those those needs with the with the contractors that you're working with and they can help you appropriately plan for the space that you will use to, to house all your crafting. One of the best things you can do to plan for the future is to make sure your cabinets are adjustable. Let's also make sure that there's some flexibility built in in case you decide to move it a different way. Lots of small spaces become more cumbersome later when you're trying to do something different. So instead of building in solid dividers, let's do something flexible with, say, acrylic or movable dividers, or with baskets and bins that can then be changed out. But also with the system that we use, all of our shelving is adjustable. So if your needs do change, the shelves can move. If you were using small binders and now you need big binders, you can actually adjust the shelves and just move them at home yourself. One of the um, advantages of a custom system like this one is, as Vicki was saying, the adjustability of the systems. So while the vertical panels, the sides, the compartments are set, the contents of those compartments can, can be move. changed. So if you choose shelving now, you can get drawers later. If you choose drawers now, we can take those drawers out and change it into shelving later. Again, building in some inherent flexibility so that as your needs change, the system can change with you. Although this is a hard thing for some of us to accept, it's okay if you have empty cabinets. It's so important when you're planning your space to really keep in mind everything that you need and everything that you're going to need a spot for. And allow extra storage. I've got some empty cabinets. That's fun. Someday those cabinets may be filled, but I also don't like a whole lot of chaos, so I don't want to just fill them just to fill them. I want things easy and accessible. I want to be thinking about perhaps someday there will be a tool or a device I don't even know about yet. And I want to be sure that there's plenty of space for those items in the future. I like permanency, so it was important for me to have built-in cabinets that were going to stay and grow with me as I add products and add to my craft. Next, there are the topics that can be a little more challenging to discuss. What if you move? What if this space isn't a paper craft room anymore? Um, do you foresee leaving this home? And what are the things that um, you will be taking with you? 
or what are the things that you believe in behind because you that determines how much you want to invest in your crafting space and it also goes if you ever sell your home and somebody wants to use the space completely different we actually come back and meet with the new homeowner and make it be what they want it to be another way that we were looking towards the future was what if I get out of paper crafting? What if that's no longer what I want to be doing as far as creativity, creatively? So we didn't install anything. Nothing is permanent. Uh, I didn't want somebody to come down here and say, wow, you're a paper crafter. I want to be able to be free to quilt. I want to be free to explore new craft things that come up in the future. It was also important for us um, looking ahead if we were to ever sell the house, I didn't want the new owners to feel like this space restrained them in any way. I want it to be a space where you could come in here and say, I could build Legos in here, or my grandkids could, would have fun in here, or this would be the perfect spot for my collections of whatever it might be. I, I just thought it, it turned out to be a great space for ev whatever it is you want to do. Like today, you're seeing this space as a craft room. And it's a wonderful craft room and we hope that Keisha uses it for years and years and years. But at some point, she may decide that she doesn't want to live here anymore and this is permanent in the home. So you can imagine that someone else who may not craft but who might need a really, really fancy home office, or this could be a children's you know, workroom space with homework stations. You can reimagine these things. In fact, these drawers that over there can be file drawers instead of storing what she is storing in them. They're sized for that. That's a lot to think about. As we wrap up this series, you may be wondering if these ladies have any regrets. So did we. Let's see what they have to say as they reflect on what they learned from designing their own craft studios. If I had to do my studio over again, I would probably allow for a separate crafting space for when I have friends come and stamp with me. Truly, most of my time is spent running solo. I love to create on my own, but I would probably love an even bigger space to be able to allow them in so I can have some stamping time within my space. I've had friends over and we've stood and we've stamped and it works out beautifully. But I think having just a wee bit more space where we could sit down and craft together would be the ideal dream. But if I had to do this once more, the, the one thing that I was, would change is to listen to the people that are working with you, sometimes a little more closely. Um, sometimes your, your, your contractors and your suppliers have a not sometimes, they often have a level of expertise that's way beyond what you as, as a crafter who's not specializing in doing those things can, you know, can, can aspire to. Um, and they will see things that you won't see about the function of your space um, um, that, that, that's particularly useful. The design process, it is a process. It's not going to happen the first time and you need to leave room for tweaks, for considering, for thinking through something. So what did you think? Join in the conversation on our social media channels, which are linked here on the screen. In the next episode, we'll start touring these beautiful crafted spaces. If you're new to the series, be sure to watch the previous episodes. Don't forget to subscribe to our blog so you can hear about the new episodes to come. Thank you for watching Crafted Spaces, presented by Stampin' Storage. Stampin' Storage. Organize your craft, unleash your creativity.